So hi guys! So because you get to see my amazing display of my nose! I actually don't know what the theme is this week. Oh god, I watched Emily's video the other day. Uh, hold on, let me just ask Luciano. If Luciano, you're watching this, I'm Facebooking you right now. So I'm going to talk about my nose operation first. I wake up this morning at half seven, and then we set up to hospital, so I had to be there for eight. I got to the waiting room, I said my name, and then I waited my mum for about 20 minutes. My mum, my, my mum's best friend, like she's like my auntie, is a nurse, so she was looking after me. I had my photographs taken, that my nose looked like before I went in, and then I waited for like two hours until I went to go through to theatre. I got this like nighty thing on and my dressing gown and my flip flops. They laid me down in this bed, had this tube thing put in my hand, this is a plaster there now, but I had this tube thing inserted into my hand. She put some morphine through my bloodstream and something else, but I can't remember. There was a delay for anaesthetic because it hadn't filled up properly yet. So I had a nice 20 seconds of feeling drunk from the morphine and that was really fun. It actually felt like I was at a party again. I was like, oh, this is fantastic. I didn't pay for this one. And then my mum said, I love you. And my auntie was stroking my hair. And then all of a sudden, I just, I can't even remember closing my eyes. I just remember mum saying, I love you. Blanked out. Felt like I slept. Woke up in this recovery room. The eyes are flustering. They're like, Rebecca, Rebecca, can you hear me? And I was like, oh, yeah, hi. Is you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I said, can I have a drink? Because my throat absolutely throbbed. And it wasn't until later that I found it because they shoved tubes down my throat to get to my lungs so that I could breathe properly. Honestly, I was all quipped out. I had sticky pads on my chest and I had things on my fingers clipped up to monitors. So it was really scary. <laughs> and then I was there for like half an hour waiting for a nurse to bring me round and take it back to the ward. And my dad and my mum were together. That is really big. My mum and dad don't really get on and it was fantastic it was such a nice feeling uh, my nose really hurts right now but i've had loads of painkillers i would show you but you can see this is blood that's coming out of my nose so i'm not going to get any closer it looks still to the side but that's because they've taken things out of this side and put it in this side and it's very very swollen here because my nose is like oh my god we're missing skin it will look a lot straighter i'm just gonna see if luciano has you know, my favourite video game. I really like Mario Kart. Sorry, I say it was Emily because uh, it's the big family game that everyone can play. Even four year olds actually. I have a, a really close friend whose brother's four years old and he actually beats him at Mario Kart. So yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I even have a shell on my phone which Millie bought for me in Canada. To, yeah, it was either this or a mushroom that I was going to get and I was so glad I got this because these things are actually the most annoying thing of the whole entire game, I think. Favourite board games? I do like Cluedo. I am quite a big Cluedo fan, and no one really beats me at Cluedo. In fact, I've got Harry Potter Cluedo, and that's very good. Uh, there's also a really old board game called Hotel, and that's a bit like Monopoly, apart from it's a bit more child-friendly in the sense that it actually ends within five hours. Even shorter than that, an hour really. The Monopoly just seems to go on forever, that's why I hate it so much. So yeah, I hate Monopoly. And Mouse Trap, Emily, totally agree, we had that here. And I remember trying to play it when I was like six or five. And I remember just getting so annoyed about the stupid thing wasn't working, like the ball wasn't moving. I was like, I trashed the whole board and went to my bedroom. So I had a little bit to do with the fact that I wasn't winning. Yeah, I've just noticed this video is running along quite like five minutes, something that I'm getting a bit worried because I've actually talked throughout the whole video. So this is going to be a, bit a weird thing editing. Yeah, and my least favourite video game is probably I'm gonna say Harry Potter the Goblet of Fire for PlayStation 2 because I completed it I got all the way through and then the Voldemort level right at the very end I couldn't do it and I refused to get help because I thought I need to do this me I was probably about 12 or 13 my brother who was really really good at video games still hadn't got that far and I was like I'm gonna beat him I'm absolutely gonna trash him at this and I just couldn't get past it it was actually impossible and I was so upset because I geared myself up to beat him oh Pokemon! How can I forget Pokemon? I love Pokemon, like with a passion. Either original series, the Cantad League, that's the only thing I like, and a bit of the Johto. But after that, I got a bit bored. I really hope you can take me seriously in this video wearing this. And yeah, I will see you all uh, next Friday. Bye, guys!